practice, Mr. Dustin Valenta, your valedictorian. Bikram Yoga Teacher Training. <laughs> These past nine weeks have truly been a journey of transformation for all of us, individually and collectively. 360 degrees, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Can you believe it? We did it! time would fly, and though we didn't believe it then, and it may not have seemed like it at times, nine weeks really has flown by. So let's take a moment to look back on what exactly happened. We arrived from all corners of the globe to study this practice that we loved. With a mix of nerves and excitement, we walked into this very room to have our first lecture. We were finally going to meet the celebrated founder and creator of this practice, whom we'd heard so much about, Bikram the pioneer of hot yoga, and that was only the beginning. As a diverse collective, 176 people from 31 different countries, all learning, sweating, crying, breathing, working, and growing together, we have been given an invaluable once-in-a-lifetime gift that very few are lucky enough to receive. How many people have experienced firsthand information, lectures, classes, and corrections from such inspiring luminaries as Rajashree and Emmy, let alone Bikram himself. We have learned from the best, from doctors to senior teachers like Lynn, Rich, and Jody. Bikram has bought, brought passionate souls from all over the world to educate us in depth about this amazing subject of yoga. We have been undoubtedly challenged and tested, physically, mentally, and spiritually. But we rose together and we all grew. We trusted the process and saw one another's weaknesses turn into strengths, our doubts to self-confidence and our fears to real power. We learned if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. And we created a safe and supportive environment for everyone to really come out of their shells and shine. None of this would have been possible without the dedication and support of those who encouraged us so often to trust this process. Manali and the staff, the united colors of Bikram. On behalf of everyone, I would like to thank you all for everything you've done for us, both seen and unseen. We thank you to Kako and Angelina for keeping us in line with attendance and those lovely makeup classes. Thank you, Adam, for the organization and logistic, logistics of the posture clinics and your help with the anatomy quizzes. <laughs> thank you, Darren, for your beautiful pictures and handling all of the roommate drama. Thank you, Edward, for wrestling with the sound and video systems and for your sweet beats in every savasana. <laughs> thank you, Tracy, to attending to our physical and mental health. And thank you, Sharon and Balwan from afar as well for your laughter and light. Last, but certainly not least, thank you, Manali, for your commitment to keeping us safe, happy, and comfortable, always with a smiling, happy face. You pushed us to do our best every day, while somehow managing the staff and Bikram at the same time. <laughs> there is no other way to say it. This training would not be possible, let alone successful, without you. Thank you also to Rajashree for so often being a refuge of calm in the middle of the storm. Your gracious, caring, and motherly approach to teaching and your vast knowledge, strength, and grace has made us better humans and inspired us immensely. Thank you to Andy Cleves, the living legend of Bikram Yoga, an encyclopedia of health and fitness. We will carry your corrections, 
and lesson that pain is a priceless gift in our bodies and hearts forever. Thank you to Laju for your lovely classes and teaching tips. We'll always remember your woohoo before camp. And of course, the best is safe to last. Bikram, words cannot describe how much you have impacted our lives. You really have challenged us and changed us all for the better. All over, inside out, bones to the skin and fingertips to the toes. You told us many times that we come into this world as babies and we will die as babies. <laughs> but thanks to you, these babies are now bulletproof, fireproof, windproof, <laughs> It's not uncommon to hear, Bikram Yoga saved my life, and I can testify to this personally. In 2013, I was riding my bike in Chicago when a woman opened her door into the bike lane. I was thrown into the street where a passing truck then ran me over. I broke both sides of my pelvis, both collarbones, my left hip, left shoulder, and every one of my ribs except one. I also fractured my skull, cracked a cervical vertebrae, and punched a lung. Logic and doctors agreed that I should not have survived and would probably never fully recover. But two and a half weeks later, I walked out of the hospital in a number of braces, but well under my own power. There have been a number of blessings that factored into this recovery. But I am absolutely positive that had I not been practicing Bikram Yoga prior to the accident, I wouldn't be talking to you today. I am equally confident that had I not gone back into the hot room as soon as I was physically able, probably sooner than doctors would have liked, I would have a lot more problems than I currently do. And I have to believe that eventually, in the future, as long as I keep practicing, the lingering crookedness, tension, and inhibited movement will disappear. Thank you, Vikram. You saved my life. still burning strong. Your passion and strength are immeasurable. As our guru, we make a vow to you today. We will carry your work onward, continuing to spread Bikram Yoga to every corner of the globe to help those who are suffering as we have been helped, without stopping and without intermission for the rest of our <laughs> lives. As of today, we are the new generation of Bikram Yoga teachers. We have the responsibility to lead the masses into healthier, more fulfilled lives. The beauty of Bikram Yoga is that it doesn't discriminate on the basis of age, race, religion, or past. Everyone is welcome. This practice goes far beyond the physical. It breaks down barriers between and within people. It encourages us and reminds us to love appreciate, forgive, and accept one another. What an amazing job! At the beginning, we were told to keep things simple. And that was perhaps the most important advice of all. What better way to tackle the problems of the world than to smile, take a deep breath, suck your stomach in, and always remember to lock your knee. Everything will be all right. Congratulations, class of spring 2015!